Hello, hello. So I know a lot of us are running 300DX carburetors on our 4Trax 300s, but the problem with this carburetor is they're getting hard to find in uh, good condition. And by good condition, I mean used on eBay that aren't, you know, full of rust. Um, and the Chinese ones are junk. I do not recommend running the Chinese carburetors. I replace them people all the time with used Honda carburetors. Don't put a Chinese carburetor on your bike. So there's the 300DX. Um, obviously this one's seen a good amount of service on here. All the gaskets are leaking. It's still working. Um, but I went ahead and upgraded to this, which looks similar, but that's a 400EX carburetor. And you can still get these brand new from Honda. And here's the kicker. They're only like 130 bucks for a new Kian carburetor from Honda. Bigger accelerator pump circuit, better breather. Um, just as easy to tune. Same tunability. You know, you can bend this little flap to change when the thing... So that's, that's where these carburetors are awesome because you can tune the shit out of them. Um, and it actually fits in there pretty easy. You use the same 300EX um, throttle cable, you leave the nut off and you thread it into the carburetor as far as you can so it doesn't rub the bottom of your gas tank too bad. Then your option is to put a small spacer under there or to put a dent in the bottom of the gas tank. I prefer to put a dent in the bottom of the gas tank. Um, and it fits into these two boots. It's quite a stretch. You soak the boots with carburetor cleaner, come back, do it again in 30 minutes, and you can jam the carburetor into that front boot. It's stretched, but it works. The front band will still work. The OEM band on the back, not big enough. This boot stretches too much, so I put a nice hose clamp on there. But that's in there like Donkey Kong, um, and uh, it's on like Donkey Kong. The choke still works. Not that you really ever need it because you can just choke the snorkel, but I left it on there because it's a brand new carburetor. Um, some issues you have with the used carburetors is the seals behind this um, butterfly, there's a little like felt or rubber seal. Once that gets really worn out, water will start getting in there, and it'll give you a little misfire or even kill the motor if you're underwater for a really long time. And the new carburetor, especially the 400EX, is a nice rubber O-ring type seal in there, so you don't have to worry about that for a long time. And, I mean, look at the corrosion that's built up in this thing, just from being used underwater more than on land. So, having a new carburetor is really nice, and it makes the thumb throttle feel silky smooth. Oh, my gosh, that feels nice compared to this thing, which was getting pretty stiff. So, I actually bought this carburetor for my 350D, but it looks like I'm going to have to buy another one because they're both getting 400EX carburetors. Um, this will be a little too much airflow for this guy right now, but it's going to have a 380 kit soon. So, that's going to be the perfect carburetor. This is going to be about, about a 360 when I'm done with it, but it's going to be a 10.5 to 1 Wiseco. Um, so a little extra carburation won't hurt anything as long as I tune it right. This is going to get a total makeover. I'm going to redo this lift kit. The guy who did this was very talented, but uh, I'm going to have to redo it. Sorry, man. And the rear, the rear angle is way too much on that rear U-joint, so I'm going to have to redo that as well. But yeah, so pretty interesting. Um, yeah, those, that rear lift's even worse. But this thing's going to come out pretty cool. That little 300, not sure I'm doing with it yet. But yeah, 400X carburetor on a 300. Pretty easy. I haven't done it before. I just did it. Figured I'd share with you guys that it's, uh, it's pretty easy.